Hello friends, today we will talk about transformations of graphs or transformation. So basically we will be looking at what happens to a function say f of x when we multiply it by a constant say a, so a of f of x, then we add say some constant b. So a and b can be any real numbers here. Uh, this concept is best explained using examples. So we'll be looking at various examples in this video. Let's take the classic function as say f of x equal to x square and let me draw, uh, try to draw f of x equal to x square here. So this is my x and y axis. Let me try to draw my parabola. Mm, that's not a good parabola. Okay. And yeah, this is my y is equal to x square. So y f of x equal to x square. Okay, now let's look what happens uh, when we multiply it as let's say a is equal to 1. So I need to plot f of x plus b or basically x square plus b, right? Uh, We'll be taking one, a equal to 1 for a few examples. Uh, okay, so what happens when we add uh, a constant b is that every value, every y value of f of x, uh, a constant b is added to it, right? So basically, graphically, what happens is the graph of the function rises by a unit b. Okay, so each point of y equal to f of x is uh, let me draw f of y equal to x square so this is my y equal to x square and you can see that uh, you can clearly see that each and every point is being raised by a unit of b this point is raised by a unit of b and this point is also raised by unit of v every point. This is true for each and every point. So this is what happens when we add a constant add to the function. Let's let, look at some other case. So this is y equal to x square. And Let's talk about what happens to f of x plus c. That is, we are instead of putting x as our input value, we are putting x plus c as our input value. So let me show it here in a graph. So this will be my uh, x square, x plus c the whole square. So the graph actually moves to the right by c units. Or if I write f of x minus c, then I can say the graph actually moves C units to the right. So what basically happens is the function is like we'll be putting an input value say x to the function and the function gives us the y value or the output. So basically we're inputting an x value as our input and giving a y value. So when we input uh, x minus C, uh, let's say we input uh, x equal to c. So for the graph, the graph thinks that we are putting uh, c minus c which is 0. So the graph actually behaves as if the value inputted is 0 or basically uh, for every value of x, the graph actually behaves as c units behind the x, behind the value we inputted. So what I mean is uh, when I put x equal to c, uh, we get uh, the same result as we put x equal to 0 in x square and that, tr that is true for each and every point. So essentially we can conclude that the entire graph has moved c units to the right. So this graph is my x minus c the whole square. So let's take 
f of x equal to x plus c the whole square and uh, you can guess uh, so for x minus c the graph moves to the right so for x plus c the graph should move to the left right or you can say it is f of x minus minus c so minus c is to the left side of the graph right or the left side of the origin so the graph actually moves c units to the left so you can think of it like if i put x equal to minus c i'll get uh, zero as the point right so basically the graph behaves as if i behaves the same if i input at zero in x square so the graph of x plus e the whole square looks like this now let's take uh, y is equal to x minus 1 square plus 2 so let's try to graph this parabola and uh, this is the same thing as x square minus 2x plus 3 so we don't need in that form we need to be in uh, you need to convert into this form like f of x minus c plus b form so let me try to do this in three cases so uh, instead of this uh, let me try to do in cases so this will be my for my case one this will be my case two and the third one or our final one so in each case i will be implementing one of the you know factors so in case one we will be drawing y equal to x square which is our parent function you can call it so this is my y equal to x square uh, so in the second uh, we will go with x square minus 1 the whole square so what happens to the graph and the graph moves towards right right y equal, y equal to x minus 1 so this is my 1 and it will be the vertex of the parabola so this is my y is equal to x minus 1 over square essentially we move the graph graph right by one unit right and each and every point of the graph is moving one unit right so let me show that by right color so this is what happens when we write when we consider the one now let's consider two the plus two that we have here so uh, this is my one two so i need to raise the graph two units up right let me draw a better parabola and yeah that looks fine so uh, now my vertex uh, of the parabola will be two units higher so it will be the, at the point one comma two right so let me mark it by blue the blue line shows that the graph has risen up by two units and the red is showing it to the right so this is our final answer for x minus one the whole square plus one now let's take uh, the case where we multiply it by a constant a and I think the best example for that is y equal to sin x. So the graph of y is equal to sin x looks like a wave. We all know that. So it looks something like this. And that point is pi. This is my 2 pi. We all know this, right? So y is equal to, let's take 2 sin x. So essentially what happens is each and every point will get multiplied by 2 or stretched vertically by a factor of 2. So what I mean is if the maximum point or maximum value of y equal to sin x is 1, the maximum point of y equal to 2 sin x will be 2 into 1 which is 2. And this same thing implies for the negative value. So the minimum value is minus 1. So the minimum value of y equal to 2 sin x should be minus 2. So if I try to draw my graph, it might look something like this. 
so the minimum point uh, is minus 2 and the maximum point is 2 so you can see that uh, e, the graph actually got stretched vertically in the vertical direction right so the red line shows the stretching of the graph So we can conclude one more thing that the ma maximum value of uh, sine x is 1 right so the maximum value or the amplitude of the wave we can call it as 2 into the maximum value of sine x which is 2 into 1 which is 2. Now let's look at uh, sine of kx right uh, let's take a number say 2x that's better so what happens when we multiply so let me draw y equal to sin x here so y equal to sin x looks something like this and that's my y equal to sin x and if i try to draw y equal to sin 2x uh, let me mark the points pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi And this will be my corresponding points. Uh, no, I will show the corresponding points. That's uh, it will be more complicated. So let me try to draw here. This is pi by two. This is pi. Uh, it's three pi by two, and that's my two pi. So what happens is, let's say we input uh, the value pi by two in sine two x. So the graph thinks that uh, I input it pi right 2 into pi by 2 is pi so actually if I input the value pi by 2 in sin y equal to sin 2x the graph actually behaves as if I have input pi in y equal to sin x so you can see that graph actually you know contracted or pressed you can call it in the horizontal direction right it got shrinked in the horizontal direction or basically uh, the graph actually travels faster right so for y equal to sin x to complete one cycle uh, or the one way, um, cycle uh, you need to go from let's uh, say pi right but here in when i reach pi by 2 itself the graph will complete half the cycle and at pi it will complete full cycle so you can say the graph actually travels two times faster here 2 sin x by 2 plus 3 uh, let's try to draw it in one stretch okay so what happens uh, let me consider the plus 3 first so i need to raise the graph by plus 3 units so uh, let me draw the plus 3 so I have going up by plus 3 so that's going up by plus 3 units and there is a factor of 2 that we need to consider so that's pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi now if i if you look at the factor x by 2 you can see that the graph actually travels slower right if i put let's say 2 pi the graph actually behaves as sine pi right so uh, basically the graph travels two times slower or you can say that uh, the graph is stretched horizontally so if i try to draw it will look uh, not like this it will look something like this right so the maximum point maximum value is from the mean uh, it's 2 uh, let me draw it again so yeah now it's perfect so 
so uh, this is our final value for y equal to 2 sin x by 2 plus 3 so the factor x by 2 makes the graph say lengthier currently uh, you can say that so now let's move further so we see that from uh, sin x to uh, the period of sin x is actually 2 pi right we can comment on the period by looking at the factor of x so sin x our uh, sin kx will have a factor say 2 pi by k right because the it travels k times faster so the time period should be slowed down by a factor of k or the period now is 2 pi by k now if we talk about the amplitude or the maximum displacement from the mean as you can call it so here in this case the amplitude is 2 so for a normal let me uh, call it a so for a sine wave the amplitude is actually one but for sine uh, for q sin x let's say so where q is some constant uh, the amplitude is actually q because the maximum value of sine is 1 so 1 q into 1 is q now let's take uh, a line and the simplest line we can think of is y equal to x right uh, yeah this is my y is equal to x now if we look carefully y equal to x plus 1 can be character can be considered into two categories right so it can be like y equal to x plus 1 and y equal to x plus 1 in a bracket now you might ask me what is the difference so the difference is actually there is no difference but you can consider it as two different cases like uh, one of f of x plus 1 and other of f of x plus 1 now let's use the two different uh, views or uh, and try to sketch the graph so well, this is case 1 and case 2 so if i try to sketch the graph uh, thinking of case 1 so let me draw my y to x our parent here and now let's go to case 1 so case 1 f of x plus 1 so this is my x and y coordinates and this is my parent function now i have i need to move one units up i need to raise uh, the function one unit up that is each and every point of the function moves up by a unit of one so the red lines show that and uh, the green line is what we get after we raising up so the green line represent the function y equal to x plus 1 now let's look at case 2 and in this case uh, we are moving the function to the left by 1 unit so let me draw my parent function so that is y equal to x and uh, let me show it by which color will I pick let's take blue so we are moving to the left or we are moving the function or each point to the left by one unit and uh, let me use the green color to show the line that we get and we get something like this which is the same thing as we got in the previous case and yeah that's it this is the y equal x plus 1 so in both the cases we get the same thing by two different ideology now let's talk about what happens when you multiply by a factor we actually talked about this a bit in uh, say y equal to sin x so in sin x y equal to sin x we see that it got stretched vertically and uh, let's take another example so let's take uh, y equal to x square this is my function x square 
and let's try to sketch 2x square so let me draw it again so this is this let be this be my x square and so if i try to draw a 2x square it might look something like this right uh, kind of a more skinny parabola that will be my 2x square now what is happening here uh, it is the same thing as what is happening in the case of the sin x axis each and every point is being multiplied by a factor of 2 so if i take uh, say some random point let me take let me take the classic 1 comma 1 point so the corresponding point is 1 comma 2 right so we can see that uh, the one the y1 the y coordinate 1 is being multiplied by 2 or it's been raised by a factor of 2 this means multiplied so if i take 2 comma 4 now the point is 2 comma 8 and this is true for each and every point so each and every point on the graph is being multiplied by a factor of 2 so now i hope you can i you can sketch the graph of uh, y equal to a f of x plus c plus b for any given a if you have any queries or questions on the subject kindly write them in the comment section below i will try uh, to discuss the relevant relevant ones in my next video also welcome any suggestions on this video signing off mother cs Bye.